Welcome back everybody. Today I would like to share with you a step-by-step -step formula that I've developed to help you create your own signature makeup look that really celebrates your own unique beauty. A signature makeup look can be such a powerful form of self-expression. Being that I come from a music industry background, I have often thought about how a signature aesthetic can directly underpin the authentic expression of a recording artist. Some musicians have very distinctive makeup looks that make them instantly recognizable and that are very tied in with their overall branding. And I think that kind of visual representation of their art form through their personal style really helps me to be able to connect with their music in a deeper way. I personally love using makeup as a way of expressing my unique personal style and also celebrating all the little nuances that make my body unique. It has however taken me a little bit of time to be able to find the tools that I have needed to be able to connect with my je ne sais quoi in a very authentic and heartfelt way. Probably some of the most profound tools that I have discovered have been the more advanced body typing methodologies like David Kibbe, body geometry and the yin yang method, as well as color theories like the artistic license color system. That one has been really amazing. The other thing that's really helped me is to be able to engage with online platforms where there is quite a diverse representation of what beauty is. Armed with these tools, I feel like I have now developed a really neat little system that anybody could use to create their own unique, very personalized signature makeup look. So today I would like to walk you through the steps of that formula using myself as an example. To begin with, however, there are four essential items of homework that need to be completed. I like to make a bit of a fun ritual around any kind of research to do with personal style. So I would recommend grabbing your favorite beverage, settling down somewhere nice and comfy and really enjoying this next part of the process. Homework task number one is to figure out your native color family, then collect inspiration images that are in that color palette. I myself am warm and delicate, and here is an example from one of my Pinterest boards where I have collected images of artistic licensed verified warm and delicate skin undertones wearing their colors and wearing makeup looks that are very much in harmony with their warm and delicate native coloring. Step number two is to figure out your body type, then find inspiration images of people who are in your body type family wearing makeup looks you love. This is my image collection of my fellow soft dramatic and sharp and soft body types. I really try to isolate the actual lines and shapes of these makeup looks from the colors used so that I can just use the overall makeup look as more of a template for myself. Step three is to determine your contrast levels, then find inspiration images of people who have similar contrast to you. I have medium to high contrast between my eyes, hair color, and skin, so I have collected images that I feel illustrate a similar level of contrast to my own. And the final homework task, which is one of my favorites, is to decide which of your special features you want to celebrate, then find inspiration images of makeup looks that beautifully showcase those features. For my signature makeup look, I have chosen to showcase my freckles. Here I have collected images of makeup looks that I feel really convey the beauty of freckles in such a lovely way. Now that you have completed this little homework exercise, it's time to select one image from each of those categories that best represents the aesthetic that you would like to achieve. To represent my warm and delicate makeup color palette, I have selected this image of Eva Longoria, who is actually warm and radiant, but I think she is looking gorgeous here in both an outfit and makeup look from the warm and delicate color palette.
For my soft dramatic makeup lines, I have chosen this image of Sophia Loren for inspiration. I really like this eye makeup look because it's just a little less dramatic and graphic than her famous signature look, and I actually think this is more in harmony with her softness. For contrast levels, I have selected this image of Kate Mara. She looks like she has a pretty similar hair and eye color depth to me, and our skin looks to be of a similar depth here too, so I think this is a really nice celebrity representation of my contrast levels. And finally, here is an image of the very gorgeous Jessica Clements, who at this point has become my freckle icon. It's a little tricky to see her freckles with the image at this scale, but if you look up makeup for freckles on YouTube, you will likely see a few of her videos come up. I really love the way her makeup always allows her beautiful freckles to show, the way she occasionally adds even more freckles to accent them further, and I also love the way she uses blush or brush bronzer to enhance a sun-kissed look. Okay, now we are going to use these four images to inspire the makeup look. I'm going to begin by using this lovely warm dusty rose lip pencil to define the shape of my lips. The main focus of this look is going to be my eyes, so I'll keep the lips quite neutral and muted. On top of the lip pencil layer, I am going to add two more lipsticks so I can get the exact color I'm after. I like to apply them both with my finger to give a softer, more lived in look. Next, I am using the leftover color on my finger as a cream blush. I have completely skipped foundation and concealer and that is because I really like the look of very natural skin, especially for freckles. Another way I like to showcase my freckles is by adding a lovely glowy highlighter on the high points of my cheeks. This one is in a rose champagne color. To help balance my contrast, I am applying a darker tinted brow gel, and once I have tidied up any smudges, I apply a layer of eyeshadow primer. In our summer, it's the only way to stop creasing. The first layer of eyeshadow is a pale cream shade. I pat this all over my eyelid as a base and then dust the entire lid with translucent powder. Next, I use a very muted brown eyeshadow, which I slowly blend into my crease area. Because I'm not wearing any foundation or concealer, I need the eyeshadow to blend seamlessly into the surrounding skin of my eye. Otherwise, it's just not very cute. So I like to spend some time on this step. I also have quite a small eyelid and I find this eyeshadow look is so lovely for framing the eyes with some depth. Now onto one of my favorite steps, winged liner. I feel like it's such a special look for the soft dramatic body type. It just feels so right. When I look closely at Sophia Loren's liner, hers begins at the inside of her eye. With my minimal eyelid real estate, I am tight lining instead and then starting my wing from the outer third of my eye. I'm also using a dark muted brown eyeliner shade instead of black, so it is in harmony with my warm and delicate skin undertone. Similarly, my mascara is also a lovely shade of brown. What I love about the overall effect of the winged liner and mascara is that those shades really echo the depth of my eyes, so there is a greater sense of overall harmony to my contrast levels, and I love that. Moving on now to the final steps, I am just dusting some translucent powder onto strategic areas, doing one last final blend of the eyeshadow to make sure everything is seamless. And the look is complete. I love the way this turned out. And I think the final result is a really nice amalgamation of my inspiration images. We have some soft dramatic lines created with a warm and delicate color palette, harmony in the contrast levels of my features and a celebration of something that makes me unique, my freckles. It's definitely a signature look I feel really great in. I would absolutely love to hear your feedback on this formula. So if you do give it a go, please let me know how you get on with it. It's very much intended to be a very playful, creative and joyful exploration of makeup. So hopefully it comes across that way. 
I'd also like to invite any other content creators out there who are in the beauty world to explore and review this formula if you want to. I'd love to see it expressed through a different perspective and that would just be really, really fun for me to, <laughs> to watch. <laughs> anyway, everyone, I'm so grateful as always to be able to spend this time together and I really look forward to seeing you all again very soon.